Hi everyone and welcome to another Watercolor Wednesday. I am Allison from the blog A Glimpse Inside and today I have this super cute rainbow umbrella with um, different kind of rainbow raindrops. So as the rain falls with normal drops it changes to the colors of the rainbows just to kind of show that um, you know happiness and colors and things come out after storms. Kind of that whole April showers um, theme going on again. And this is so simple to do. We need one stamp and one stamp only, though we do need quite a few colors since we are doing the rainbows. But let's get started. So for this painting, it is super small. This is a three by three square that we will be using um, to create this painting this time. And then again, like I said, we will be doing one stamp. So that stamp is this umbrella from the Beach Girl set um, of Art Impression stamps. So let's see, the colors, again, bear with me. We do have lots of colors. Colors we'll be using will be number 45 sepia, number 86 African violet, number 46 crimson lake, number seven orange, Number 43, Brilliant Yellow. Number 17, Olive Green. Number 50, Ultramarine. Excuse me. Um, number 8, Violet. And then number 17, where is it? That way, still blue. Okay. So to begin, you know, the one stamp that we have will be the umbrella stamp and we're going to ink it up in two colors. We're going to do uh, sepia first. Okay. And then followed by our normal little um, double African violet. All right, so we're going to stamp this pretty much center, um, maybe just slightly below, just so we have room for our raindrops at the top. But I don't want to go too low that I don't have enough room then for like the handle of my umbrella. But there is our umbrella. So we will dip our brush in water. Pinch it off, and we're going to start by dragging the color out in this underneath section. Since this will be the inside of the umbrella, it's going to be, you know, the, a darker area. We will come back and paint this. Excuse me. We will add a little bit more, um actual color to it so you don't have to draw too much out and then we're also going to come down I'm just going to do one side here of the pole I'm trying I didn't want to do it solid though let's see if I can bring it so if you can tell all the way next to this line I did I like pretty much just touched this side and went down I did not paint it in solid and that's really all I'm going to do with that I'm going to just touch just right here at the top because that's kind of where the pole comes out. And then I am just going to kind of just do a slight little touch here where the um, folds of the umbrella meet. Just to kind of, and I'm going to do it closer to the bottom because up at the top, you know, the light will touch it a little bit more so I don't want too dark up there okay excuse me guys I have my allergies it's finally glorious here in Germany and my allergies are going crazy 
Okay, so on my palette now, we're gonna paint this in. So I'm just gonna take all of my colors and you do not need a lot to paint these in. So I'm gonna just paint them down in the colors of the rainbow here so I don't accidentally get anything mixed up while I go. And that way I know exactly which ones to go to next. So this umbrella kind of looked out that we could get uh, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. So it kind of worked out perfectly. So I'm going to dip my brush in water. And I'm going to pinch it off pretty small and then go to my red. And I'm going to start at the bottom and paint up. And since this gets so skinny, I'm just, as it starts getting super narrow, I'm just going to stop. I'm not going to keep trying to paint up that way. Um, and then I will come back and try to make it a little darker, closer to the bottom. I want it closer or darker at the bottom. And then as it gets nearer the top, I want the colors to get softer and um, kind of fade into white. So, you know, I'm not going directly line to line. I'm leaving an ever so slight gap. And I'm just kind of dabbing over them multiple times till I get that, that deep color that I want to go to. So I'm going to leave the red. I think red's actually done. So let's go over here to orange. So I'm going to again start at the bottom with like the most saturated of the color. And then I'm just going to kind of fade it up here. And as I get closer to the top, I'm just going to stop painting. And then come back down. And repeat down low to get a deeper color. If you want, you could mix a little bit, just a little bit of the red. Um just to kind of deepen this lower section of the orange. But do not add too much because you don't want that red to take over. Okay, so I'm going to leave that and on to my yellow. So same thing. I'm going to start at the bottom and just kind of fade up towards the top. Add more... Um, layers to deepen the color. If your color is blending a little too much together, do a base coat, move on to the next one, come back and kind of the same thing. You can just, if you wanted to go and do all the colors and then go back. You don't have to sit here and do, um, you know, stay on this one color until it is, you know, the shade that you would like. So, I mean, or, damn it, they take, I mean, seconds to dry. So, and then just pop it back down. And again, if you want, you can add a tiny bit of orange then into that yellow towards the bottom to kind of deepen that shade a little bit. And half of our umbrella is done. Let's move on to green. So same thing. I'm going to start here at the bottom and fade it up as I go. So this is such a fast little project. Um, you know, I thought too, it kind of, it is, you know, the April showers, but I thought it'd just be super cute with everything that's going on right now, just to kind of brighten, brighten up that, you know, even after this storm of a pandemic, you know, hopefully brighter and happier times or will come out on the other side. Okay. So I'm going to leave my green and I'm going to go over to blue. I may come back to my green though. It was um, not quite as dark as I would like it, but okay. So here's my blue again. I'm gonna go 
darker on the bottom. And then as things dry, that's when you could really tell, like, if, um, you know, you have, like, those good color tones in your paint. It says it's wet and shiny. It just kind of glares at you, and you're like, I can't, I can't decide. So I just went back to green. Now I'm going to come back to my blue. Just to add a little bit right there at the bottom. Okay, and then on to my little tiny bit of purple that I got over here. So this is kind of going to be like the red. You get super skinny as you go up, so just kind of do it where you see the color and then just stop. You don't want to um, accidentally kind of just really blend these this one in over here. So there is my purple. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take the thin side of my African Violet. And I'm just going to freehand it. If you are super nervous to freehand it, get a, a pencil first. And I'm just going to kind of extend my line here. And I'm going to come up and extend this line. And then I'm going to come over. So I'm making a handle for my umbrella. They don't have to be perfect. It's just an umbrella handle. I'm going to put some African Violet and some sepia on my palette here. And I'm going to use the sepia and I'm just going to kind of lightly paint in the handle. I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to come back to that in a minute to darken it. And then I'm going to take my African Violet and I'm going to darken this um, inside part of the umbrella with the African Violet. And they have these like kind of like little notches kind of where the color meets so it would be you know darker in those little notches and fade down as it goes and then obviously like what would be deeper in the umbrella I'm just gonna kind of give this a little more of a shadow right at the tip where it's peeking out of the umbrella Right there. Okay, so then let me go back with my sepia. I need too much water. And just kind of make that slightly darker. Okay. So now if you want to go back and add um, any more color to these, you can. Otherwise, we're... Well, actually, one thing. So I'm going to take, again, the skinny side of my sepia... And I'm just going to kind of darken these lines in this area. Since again, it would be you know, pretty dark right in that little space. So just to kind of give a little bit more definition. And then I'm even going to take my sepia and just kind of add like a real small little line into my handle. Okay, so for the raindrops, there is no stamp. This is all freehand. So again, if you feel completely uncomfortable, you can do these with a pencil and then go over them with the pens and then just erase any lines that you still see. Otherwise, I just freehanded all these. So I'm going to start with steel blue. Steel blue are going to be the raindrops above the umbrella. So I'm just, you know, kind of just teardropping it. And I'm just going to scatter them around. And if some kind of end up too big, no big deal. Rain comes in all shapes and sizes. I don't really have, like, I get close to the umbrella, but I don't really have anything touching the umbrella. 
So, you know, I'm just scattering them around here. Do as much or as little as you like. You know, step back and decide if you need something else somewhere. These don't have to be perfect. So the next, after you get your top ones done, I did, so each part of the umbrella, whatever color it is, that's the color of raindrop to keep with the rainbow. So like, so right under the red, I'll have like some red drops. Again, you know, if you want to bring them over into the orange area a little bit, that's fine. You know, if you want to kind of blend the colors, that's totally good. So again, add as much or as little as you want of these. I'm bringing the orange kind of that way. We'll do another one over here. <clears throat> this is just, you know, a fun little project. It's nothing to stress over. I mean, my raindrops are far from perfect. And we'll move on to green. You know, I don't, I'm trying not to color them completely in solid. If you do, that's, I mean, no big deal. Um, I'm trying just to leave it where there is a slight little white highlight. Um, but really, I don't know if anyone will notice <laughs> besides me. So feel free to color them in completely. All right. And we have one more color. We have her purple over here. Do a little purple right there. And that is it, guys. This little spot right here is driving me nuts. <laughs> um, and that's it. See, look how fast and easy that is. We don't have a background. We don't have anything else. So now just, you know, pick up, pick a marker, sign and date it. This would be a perfect for, you know, thinking of you, um, even a get well soon, or just like, you know, do a be, be happy, happy spring card, pop it in a frame, you know, whatever you want to do with it. Super fun, cute little picture. I hope you guys um, enjoyed this one. If you have any suggestions for me, let me know in um, on social media or shoot me an email or in the comments and I will see you again next week. Have a good one. Bye.